Hey everyone, uh, got some packages today, so, but the most important one was I got the BMS here, so let's take a look at that. Uh, to be honest, I just ordered something pretty cheap and hopefully it does what it needs to do. And I got this one because it was small and it also had like a temperature sensor that I was going to wire it in from the battery pack that I had. But let's take a look at it. Let's see what it says there. This is a 7S 60 amps unit. So hopefully it does 60 amps. I'm going to go ahead and uh, gonna wire these up. I don't know if I should cut it because I don't really need the entire cable. Just need it to be enough to connect it to where I need to connect it. Oh man, these uh these connection here seems small. Hopefully I can connect it the way that I, I, I want it to, so I'm gonna try to put two screws in here to connect the negative and the positive here to the battery so like I don't know what do you guys think of this and then the NTC the temperature sensor location there I'm using one of those uh, battery pack that was already made from jack35.com website so I'm gonna see if I can wire them up and connect them so just give me a moment let me see what I can do I don't have everything so I'm still waiting on a few parts but let me see what we can do here okay so I got in, ran into a little issue I have these M I have these M3 screws but the gap there it, it touches and it over kind of overlaps each other and then I also got these ring connectors but they're too big so I think I need to get a different size or something but I got a bunch of these 10 gauge con ring connectors and I thought they would fit this but these are way too big and then the screws are also big because it overlaps I don't think I have any M2 screws these are M3 but I'm gonna go ahead and uh I don't know, maybe I'll just solder the wire onto that. But I'll figure this out later. Hopefully, we can do something. So just give me a moment and let me try to figure something out. Okay, so I went ahead and connected this like this temporarily on the back with one screw because it seemed to be touching both contact and this is just a 10 gauge wire so hopefully it'll be okay I think it says 60 amp but I think I just read the description it says it only do this is a 50 amp version so 10 gauge may be enough but I'm just gonna test to see if it turns on if it reads correctly and stuff like that so let me just go ahead and connect everything together and I put the PMS connection here for the battery, the B minus to B7 here. Temporary connected to these green ports right here, and hopefully we'll get something out of this. So I connected the negative terminal. This is still here with the positive. I taped it up just in case. I have this holding the positive from the battery, so I'm gonna connect the PMS connection together here. 
I don't know if I should touch anything. I don't want anything to spark fire. All right, here we go. Let's do a test for voltage. Move these out of the way. This is negative. I just use spared wire, so let's see. This comes to here. I don't think I'm getting any reading. It's jumping all over the place. I don't know. If you, let me try to move it around here. Okay, set this down. Negative, B minus, uh, positive, negative here, positive here. Everything's connected. Try this again. Not getting anything. I wonder if I do need to solder it on or something. Um, let me do some other things right now. Alright, if you can see, we do have voltage on the battery. It's 28.76 volts. But every time when I connect it to the BMS, uh, it's just jumping around in millivolts. Sometime it gets a vote, but I am not sure. So, all right, well, the last minute thing I was testing the balance lead and it wasn't getting any reading, so I found out that they weren't connecting all the way, which now I just did. So, I actually got some volt reading now. It's actually 28.7677, same thing, so look like it's up and connected. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this to uh, my solo inverter to see how it, how it goes. And maybe we can just keep continuing this as one video. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm at the inverter now. I plugged in the positive. I forgot, I didn't notice that the video was not showing the voltage, but right now this battery is showing 28.3 based on the Batgo, what is it, Batgo BG-8S. So they're pretty much almost balanced too, that 9 millivolts difference. So now I'm going to connect in the negative. I always get a spark when I connect the negative in, I don't know why, but I don't know if that's even normal or... You know, I'm not sure if it's normal or not, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect that into the solder inverter and see what happens. This time it did not spark. I think because the BMS leads were not plugged in yet, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug everything in again.
just give me a minute I don't have any uh, like tripod or anything like that to hold my camera right now so I plugged it in nothing came up nothing's working there was no sparks of missing it didn't connect but the positives positive I volt tested and the battery's getting the correct voltage You can see 28.77, 28.84, but this isn't working anymore. It was just fine a moment ago. All right, well, I'm going to end it here. Um, I'm going to try some more other things, but, you know, if you guys know anything or know what I should do to see why it's not working anymore just uh, leave me a comment below and if, if there are anything else you see or suggestion just also leave it in the comment so I thank you guys for watching I know this is not like the best video and everything but I'm glad that you guys are uh, watching some of my videos so thank you for watching and if you want to see the next video where maybe I get it back up and running I'll start doing some load testing and stuff and hopefully my other parts will come so I can have a better connection at all these. Alright, thank you.